Welcome to another week here at Tutorialin. Hi everyone. So today we've been working in the four-piece bath that we were working on uh, last week as well. Finishing up some um, work around the tub, putting in drains. Enjoy! Rainy day!
this week's video, we're testing the bathtub. You won't use it as the intro, you know why? Why? Because the light's not good. I know, it is not. I'm sorry, you're gonna... So you set it up? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Established the height where the uh, bathtub is going to sit in, and we figured out exactly where it's going to be the position. We also now need to cut out the floor um, for the drain part um, instead of just making one hole for the drain like we would normally do with a toilet or with a uh, shower. This one actually will have a bigger cutout because the P trap you want to have access to it afterwards and it sits kind of underneath the, the tub. So you want to put a larger cutout so that you have access um, afterwards if you needed to fix something or if you needed to change the trap. And what we want to do is in the wall here, um, on the other side where the toilet is, we're going to have a little access door. So you're going to be able to get into and work on the bathtub underneath it if you have to. Okay, so first we're going to establish the center, not the center of um, really where our two by fours are, but the center of the cutout from above. So we know that's a 30, open, 30 inch cutout, so we're gonna make a mark at 15. And then based on the tub that we are gonna use, uh, we know it needs a nine by 15 cutout. So we need four and a half inches from here, here, and four and a half inches, so that gets us 19 and a half. So that's the width of the cutout. And then we need a 15 inch, Cut out. So it's Sunday and I'm working on the drainage for the tub and the toilet here in the corner. We are in the dining room, so I'm gonna do this all from down here. 
what we'll have to do is we'll have to figure out how we're gonna take the drain from over here over into the corner over here and then also the toilet also has to go into corner and then if we get that all done today too we'll work on the shower over on the other end of this room and then even potentially uh, the sinks over here <laughs> Changing the venting a little bit, instead of going with a full three inch up to the top, we are gonna just do two inches because the toilet really doesn't need more than two inches anyways. Then I can also feed the drain from over there and over here into the same vent, much more easy and I can go through the stud um, or then I can go through the joist without um, taking too much of the structural integrity out of it. This was a longer day it is after six o'clock uh, Sunday evening and I wish I thought of this easier way much earlier in the day because I would have been done hours ago and really it's so much sim more simple and the only thing that I don't like as much is that now I'll have another stack inside the bathroom upstairs that I will just go up on the side of the corner I don't think it'll matter too much because there is right there the toilet corner. I'll show you guys. I haven't drilled the hole yet, but I will do that next time. It's just gonna go up straight in the corner of the bathroom there. And I am just at the limit here with this uh, drain pipe. I'm allowed to go six foot with an inch and a half before I have to vent. And I'm right there at five, inch, uh, five foot. I could go another foot before I would have to worry about it, but it's probably closer than I personally want to do it, but 
this actually is probably one of the most efficient ways to do it and actually takes me one two fittings plus this one of course and the, the, the two elbows that I always will need one thing we also have to do is we will put a wall here a little cup out and then obviously the wall that connects down to the floor right over here to hide this pipe reason why I don't just put this pipe here all the way into the corner is because I really don't like having pipes in the wall as I said and therefore I'm just gonna bump it out and give us the extra insulation and then this unfortunately the toilet has to go this way because I cannot notch the stud out enough to hide the toilet drain pipe so therefore I will have to go a small little header down here to in the corner well this is it for this week I hope everybody has a wonderful week and I will see you next time we turn on the camera. Bye!